And we are back. We are watching the 1976 World Series now. Moving on up as we go. Just another reminder for everyone, not baseball historians. This no. game this game happened 13 years before I was born. Around 23 years, maybe 26 years before I started actively caring about baseball. We just like baseball. Yeah, so not uh, historians. Not, we know some of the names more in this one because the Yankees are in here. We are. Yeah, Yankee these fans. are these are my father's Yankees, and sadly, sixteen year old. My dad was sixteen years old at the mm. time. Probably heartbroken because the big red machine just steamrolled everyone. Sweep. A uh, couple fun facts about this World Series, Jim. Yes, this game we're about to watch was the first weekend World Series game that started in the evening. Nice, yeah, because they didn't have lights. Sunday night night game, so that's pretty exciting. Some had lights, some didn't. Regularly yeah. didn't have lights till like eighty eight, till like last week. Um, so that was kind of fun. So like the prime Yankees, time, sit around the house. Sunday night. This was the like the first yeah. Sunday night World Series game. That's cool. Um, so that's kind of cool. It Reds was freezing. Could, Reds could have made it a bit more of a game. It started forty. Well, this was a good game. Yeah, we're watching game two because game two. it's the closest. The game one. Three and four, the Reds just yeah. beat them. <laughs> um, the commissioner, out of spite, it dropped to 30 degrees, but he didn't wear a jacket just to, like, show that, like, it's not cold. Manly. Better times. Remember when Arietta used to do that? Um, and what else? Oh, the Yankees, the previous two seasons, had been playing in Shea Stadium. So this was the first year that Yankee Stadium was back. Oh, that's cool. And the first World Series with a DH. Oh. Or they did the DH every game, I think. They did it rotating games. Someone will correct me on that. But it's something significant with the DH. Yes. And again. And that's about all we fucking know. If you expect us, ah, a lot of people, I'm going to stop reading the comments because a lot of people yeah. are getting mad. We're learning. If you see an old person commenting, how didn't you know Louis, Louis Rainia yeah. say, uh, I don't know, wasn't born for another decade and a half. One guy told me to read books, and I want to flaunt Whoa. all the books I read. Read a book. Big book reader. Read a book, dude. Play the game. Oh, Willie Randolph. Tonight. Willie Randolph. Oh, oh, Jake. As always, watching bag it, oh, as always, watching baseball yeah. is brought to you by our store at John Boy Media, shop.johnboymedia.com. And we just put out a whole new line of baseball is fun shirts. Yeah. And here's one. There's one. Here's another. Here's another, and there's a whole bunch of different styles. We got female, podcasts, male. Podcasts, YouTube shirts. So go get Do a base. Go it. get a baseballs fun shirt. And now, let, now let's watch. This is the seventh inning. The Yankees are down, three one, I believe. They make a little comeback to make it close. Game two. Got the southpaw Fred Norman on the bump. Yankees. Yankees beat the Royals in a close series. Reds steamrolled. Like their way to the World Series. They're like a machine. Yeah. So what do we got? Ooh. That was a little, nice pitch. Uncle Charlie coming I like, out. I like that oh. one. I like that one. Sorry, Willie. Willie Randolph, one of the most beloved Yankees people in history. His hair over his ear looked different than the hair and on the rest of the hair. Liking that batting sense. Oh. That wasn't a looper. That was a, that was a line drive. To be honest, I couldn't see the ball. Yeah, I didn't so see I, it I until the guy caught it. Until the but guy caught it on the bounce, so I have no idea. That camera angle of Willie hitting it was good. Yeah, you can't see the pitch. Couldn't see the pitch. Couldn't see where it went. But, uh, that's such a... Fred Stanley walking up and doing just the generic stretch. bat over the head stretch. You got to do that stretch. Guys need to do that more. Yeah. Put the bat in between <laughs> your back and do this one. Just pivot. Just good swivel. One. Normal, st oh, the oh, fake bunt. Fred, okay, Fred Norman. I love how many fake bunts they used to do back in the day. Or like, I'm thinking about it. Swimming in your head. France, it's in my arsenal. Fred Stanley, a pretty bad hit. Um, I think his OPS was like 600 this year. We went through the Yankees lineup, or I did very briefly, and I recognized almost every name besides Fred Stanley. I mean, he was batting last and picking it at short, and that was pretty much it. Yeah. Um, still the same split screen that we were using in 1972. And this is pretty fun because Willie Randolph, what they're saying right now, Willie's fast, Fred, Stan or Fred Stanley can't hit, so it's a little game of hit and mouth. Are we going to bun? Is Willie just going to steal? And we're playing on concrete here still, right? Yes. 
Like this is the first of AstroTurf. It's concrete with carpet on top of it. Yeah. Pete Rose just getting all those infield hits. Something about the way the first baseman's leaning over is making me laugh. He looks gassed. <laughs> he looks like you got to do this bullshit. To like it's not even boss. it's gassed and bored. Yeah. Like this doesn't matter. Stanley really? <laughs> the way he put <laughs> yeah, his glove exact. up. Yeah, okay. Everything's like not too excited to be there. Strike. Oh, Sam Landley strike. inside Last corner. Ball. Stanley takes a look down at Dick Hauser, who coaches the third. Alston Dick Hauser, Hauser good baseball name. Yankees. Everyone's choked up on the bat Randall's all the time in first. 70s yeah. baseball. By the way, incredible catchers in this series. Johnny Bench, Thurman Munson. That'll be out of play along the right side. That'll be out of play. It's <laughs> a good foul ball call. Yeah. Got to let him know. Pitcher, Greg Norman. Fred Norman. Fred Norman. So Greg Norman's the golfer. We got a battle of Freds. Fred Stanley versus Fred Norman, which is throwing me off. It's a lot of yeah. You don't see enough Freds. Norman th- pitched a lot of games for them yeah. this season, like 34, right? The Storm and Norman. Nice little career. Yeah, 76. Yeah, 33 starts. Inside. Good take. Three and two, full count. So you're sending Willie, right? Yeah, you got to send him. No, it's cool. Well, how scared of how scared were they of benches on? I mean, they should be scared. He's a bunch of gold gloves. But I think Willie Randall's also got speed. Yeah. But they don't believe in Stanley. They don't believe in Stanley at all. Well, all right. So you got to think that Stanley's probably going to try and make contact. But yeah, put it on the concrete. Yeah, you got to do like a hit and run here. Put it on the concrete. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, beautiful. Yo. Oh, look at Willie flying. Yeah, love the jogs home. And that's huge. That's your nine-hole hitter hit and run. So for anyone who doesn't understand why uh, I love baseball so much or the beauty and the intricacies of sport, because that count went to three and two, that happened. Yeah. That doesn't happen on a two and two count. You don't put a hit and run in motion. But once it gets to three and two, it's actually the Yankees formalized a plan, and it worked perfectly. A lot of times it's not going to work perfectly, but that was awesome. And know what the other thing I was thinking during that, which, again, I, my one-liner is Yankees always, are uh, – no, they have the same amount of hits now. A lot of handshakes. Um, I'm wondering if the pitcher had a good pickoff move. Because, again, think about how much that ties into what just happened. Like, yeah, I mean, that was a perfect time for a pickoff. But, like, is that why Willie didn't leave earlier? Was it the sphere of Johnny Bench? I mean, there's so many moving parts. And we're back to the top of the lineup. Babe. Love a good hit and run. Ooh, big old swing. Shoddy got a big old butt. Um, Mickey Rivers. Yeah. Mickey Rivers still shows up at Old Timers Day oh for the Yankees God. every year, and he's, like, 80 years old now. He still flies in the outfield. Runs faster than me. Oh, yes. I'd say he's about an average fielder, Tony. Nothing exceptional, nothing in the dying gullet bowl, certainly. <laughs> We're talking about the pitcher. Yeah. <laughs> so they said he's no Don Gullet. Don Gullet was the guy one. started game one. Now that looks like a blooper. Okay. Yeah. Mickey couldn't do nothing. A lot of outfielders were coming just in lob, low back yeah, then. Just, lob, just lobbing it in. Was it just like if you didn't, if you weren't an infielder, outfield, you just? I think they're just having fun. This is my dad's guy? favorite Yankee, Roy White. Roy White. This could have been when Roy White won over your dad's heart. I mean, he was 16 watching this at home Sunday with his dad probably. I, maybe, yeah. Yeah. This is transcendent. Don't know if I use that right. Nope. Double barrel action <laughs> in the bullpen. Synchronized throwing. Yeah, look how cold everyone is, man. They're freezing. They're wearing like. I think uh, by the end of the game, they said it was 30 out. Winter coats. Cincinnati. So who's coming up next? Thurman? Roy White. No, no, no. Roy White's up. Roy White's up. Who's on deck? First base is open. So they're deciding. Thurman Munson. They're deciding right now, like, hey. I mean, you're not pitching around Roy White. No, you're going after him. Yeah. You have to. You have to attack him pretty heavily here. Lou Pinella in the hole, by the way. Sweet Lou. Ball inside. The take by Roy. Roy. Yeah. 
Got to come after him, though. Take third, Stanley. No, don't do it. Don't do it, Stanley. He's so happy he hit a double. Not doing anything out there. It's right in there. But Roy's got to work the count. Had to see one first. Yeah, got to see one. Because if you can get on first for Thurman, you're good. Look at the hard cutout by him second with, like, the turf. Good speed on Roy White. Looks like he's standing so far away from the plate. That's a nice pitch. Ooh, Ooh, I would have given it to him. He wanted it. I'm going to have to check with Pops on that one. I mean, it's a really good pitch considering how far away from the plate Roy White is standing. That's in there. He's like, he's kind of standing like uh, rookie of the year when the kid gets to the bat, and he's just like as far away from the plate. Let's see what, he's got to lean into it, right? No. A little bit, a little stride in. Tiny. Yeah. I'd throw that outside breaking ball all day of how far away he's staying away from You would throw your left-handed outside breaking ball all day. Yeah. (laughs) Without a doubt. There's video of you throwing lefty. Yeah. Well, if I was Norman. That's right, if you talking. were Norman. I'm talking about if I'm the plan. It would have been wild if you were out there. Bad. Talk about transcendent. Would have been great for the Yankees. Fred Stanley at second base. Look at that hard cutout on the turf. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> Gets a slider. Ooh. Wow. They held up. Who's got the cannon in left field on these reds? Here's something people will get mad at me about. Who's announcing this game? I like him so much. Um, I can find out, but it's got to be a name we recognize. They rotated like every game. Oh, okay. Yeah. But he's. It must have been such a fight between the different networks and stuff. He's like, I doubt if he can score. That was George Foster in left field with the cannon on the hard hit ball. Sparky coming out. So cold. <laughs> Freezing. Wearing a batting glove as gloves. That's funny. Yeah, that's good. In out of the pin, I think it's Jack Billingham. Nice. Jack Bill. Jack Bill. Bouncing ball. Bouncing ball up the middle. Oh. We'll go to second, and that's the only play. We're all tied up here. The okay. Whoa. Hard. Interesting. Like Morgan was a bit undecided. Didn't know what to do. I mean, you could to throw the first there and get the double play. Once you see he's down, right? Why? Once you see he's down, throw to first. Chambliss got down the line a little better than I thought. Because it looked, what they're saying, that hesitation, there was a chance they couldn't get the runner at first there. Okay. Uh, you, you don't see the camera angles there, but you think he – seems like he might have been able to. For Joe Morgan. If not, you're still getting that guy. Gold Glova. You're still getting that guy who's on the ground in the middle. I mean, maybe. Look, you don't know. doesn't really hurt him. They win the World Series. Jesus. Woo! Tough inning for Joe Morgan. Good save. Got it, though. Got rid of the ball. Um, with the emphatic call, but the Yankees tied it up there, and that is important because – Reds were up 3 nothing. And they won game one of the series. So, and look at that. I mean, three runs, nine hits, zero errors across the board. An even generic baseball box score, that's always something when your two teams looking at each other like, whoa, yeah. we've kind of done the same shit, huh? But, uh, yeah, I mean, Cincinnati's... No, no, the, we, you, when you see that scoreboard, you go, whoa, this is a good one. This is, we're, we're locked up, huh? Yeah. Um, but Last yes, step after eight. Cincinnati was about, you know, they go up 3 nothing. They're at home. They're about to go up two games to none, and now New York has tied it up. But the big decision here, and this is what we were looking at, it, and I'll start playing this. This is Now we're skipping to the bottom of the ninth inning. I'm interested to see if the broadcasters talk about it. Because Catfish Hunter yeah. has how many complete games? He finished 21 games that year. He had 21, 21 complete, complete games. games. He is the Yankees... Best pitcher. Ace, free agent, came over from the A's. He's pitching a a decent game. Nine hits, but three runs, whatever. They're in it. They leave him in. Now, they have Sparky. Uh, Sparky Lyle. And the the Yankees have Sparky. He pitched in game one, two innings, but he was their best reliever. They traded for some relievers. Good career. The Yankees traded away two relievers for Grant Jackson, who was poor in the ALCS. And it's it's catfish's game. I want to see if the announcers talk about it. Yeah. Our old friend Concepcion. We've watched so much Dave Concepcion. We've seen him grow up. Oh, <laughs> That's why they didn't take that guy out. Short center field. Rivers coming hard. Randolph going out. Rivers. 
Okay. Ooh. That was kind of an easy play, but good job by the announcer. Yeah, the announcer hyped that up. Ninth, good. ninth inning of the World Series. I might be able to. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Let me see if I can find the, the announcer for you. So this is game two, right? Yeah. Catfish is talking with medals about something. So games one and two was Joe Garagola and Marty Brennan. I'll be very honest with everyone. Those don't ring a bell. Brenneman's a big name. I think Garagola is, too. Garagola, I know the name. but like So, wait, this is Catfish versus Rose, and it's probably Rose's fourth at bat. Taken the whole way. And mad about it. Says it was low. Yeah. Just kind of looking at him. Sideburns are back a little more. Yeah. Uh, Almost hiding the whole ear. Rose's fourth at bat versus Catfish this game. Ooh, wanted that one. I mean, all my answers are already answered why they didn't take Catfish out. You just yell at him. That's called a man. <laughs> I mean. When's the last time we saw Catfish in the 72 World Series? 72 World or, Series with Oakland. Or was it 74 as well? We might have seen him twice. But he was a different guy. This guy is a grizzled vet. Yeah. Rose down the line. Oh, wow. All right, so he had two quick outs. Yeah. That's why they left him in. Like, even if they're going out by out. Right. I think it was his game. But they do have Sparky back there. I wonder if he's even warming up. Probably, Probably not. Probably not, <laughs> yeah. So one out away from going extras here. So Pete Rose. Spoiler, doesn't happen. Pete Rose goes 0 for 4 in this game. He had a walk earlier. Here's Griffey, Griffey Senior. Senior up in the two hole for this game. Hitless so far in the series, which was a game. This is the second game in the series. <laughs> One for seven. Chambliss right on the line down at first base. Strike two. Squeezes it. I'm interested in the way Thurman's catching these balls. Yeah. He's catching a lot of them thumb up, he's which is different. Like it looks like he's getting handcuffed, but that's clearly his style. Says low. Puts his glove in the dirt, says spike it. Doesn't spike play, it. Play. Oh, oh no. dude. Oh, no. Holy smokes. This is why we haven't heard too much about Fred Stanley. Uh, yeah, it might they would have had him. It was a tough play. I don't know if it would have had him, but can't throw it away in the World Series. Can't though. throw it away, and you got if you're that first, first base, you got to come that off. That's shameless, right? He's like six six, right? Yeah. Come off the base, you got to stop that ball. That's the go ahead run. You just let to get to second. Well, there's Billy Martin out talking to Kent Billy Hunter and Thurman Munson. Fred, get away from the mound, dude. Get out of here. Can you tell me how old Fred? Fred is in this. In he this looks series? young, right? Yeah, he looked young right there, like. I mean, that was Thurman Munson, Billy Martin, Catfish Hunter, and then Fred tried to come to the mound after throwing the ball away. You yeah, can't go there, Fred, dude. get out of you here. You got to understand that they are all mad at you right now. Just go do puppy dog face at short. And, dude, again, think about how baseball writes himself. Fred Stanley had the big hit and run double. Yeah. And for Yankee fans, that's gone. In one throw, that's gone. Now they're walking him. Yeah, so they're walking Joe Morgan, who had a crazy year that year. Um, he was that highest OPS on the Reds that year. Yeah. Um, how old I looking was, at Fred Stanley? Yeah, how old was he in 76? 5'10", 165. Um, in 76, he's 28. Oh, is that that young? Yeah. He look young, a little baby face. Looks like a kid there, yeah. He's also standing next to Munson, Catfish, yeah. and Billy Martin. Yeah. Those are some yeah. alphas. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, they got the pin going. There's yeah. your guys. Dick Tidro, Sparky Lyle, two best relievers for the Yankees this season. Dick Tid. Finally found a weakness. Here is Perez now. Finally Perez, found Perez, we saw him be a, a World Series hero against Boston. At second base, Morgan. Runners on first and second, so you got the force everywhere. Two outs. Man, that blows for Catfish. Yeah. Just like oh, that. First pitch. Why is the outfielder so deep? I mean... Why was he so deep? So deep. I mean, I know Tony Perez is a Hall of Fame hitter, but you you can't let that happen. You can't let exactly what happened <laughs> happen. 
Man, that, that's good for the Reds. How quick did that happen? Yeah, I mean, once that error, two pitches, right? Pitch, error, intentional walk, pitch, lose game. That's brutal, man. And again, so, so many moving parts on this. This would have made the series 1-1 yeah. going back to Yankee uh, Stadium. I don't think the Yankees had a shot. I mean, the, it's still the big red Look at machine. that error. Yeah, dude, I mean, that changes the box score. That goes back to exactly what I was saying. Look how much that changes the box score. Yeah, it's funny. Fuck. It was it was three nine zero three nine zero, and that one once this error gets put, and then you can't see my fingers. Once this gets put up here, that changes these. God, brutal. Terrible well, I think this was the last World Series for the Reds. I this think they was went. The end of the big red. I machine? think they went. Well, I don't know if it's the end of big red machine. Um, they might have been good and just lost in the LCSs. Right. But I think they went seventy-two World Series loss, seventy-three didn't make the playoffs, seventy-four. Yeah, we had a couple. Seventy-four. They weren't. They lost in the ALCS. Seventy-five World Series win. Seventy-six World Series win. Couple other. Couple other powers are starting to rise in the NL. But yeah, this is back-to-back titles. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know when the Big Red Machine officially ended. I'm sure that Reds fans watching will know. I think they're going to say now. But I guess probably not. They just say it runs through the 70s. Yeah, I, I would guess. Tony they, Perez. Strong I would guess Warren. they were still a threat. I mean, that's an incredible lineup that we just saw. Good players. But I wonder what was the unraveling of it. Like, was it just they all got old together? Who's addicted to drugs? Seasons. Let's take a quick look. And we'll end the video. Let's, yeah. Um, Dive into some Reds histories for everyone. Yanks ended up doing okay as a franchise after that. Um, 70. In the 90s, at least. Okay. What the fucking shit? Oh, what the? So they lost the NLCS in 79. Yeah. They didn't make the playoffs in 77 or 78. They lost the NLCS in 79. They got swept. Yeah. And then they didn't make the the playoffs again until 90. So I would say, yeah. Th- and that they came in second in 77 and 78. So I think they were still a very good team in the NL and they came in first in 79. So I think you can, I think, you know, Reds fans can say through no the 70s. through the seventies. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, the world series and the playoffs kind of ended yeah, I mean, there. 79, Johnny bench, Joe Morgan, Concepcion. After this game, Geronimo Griffey, after this game, they didn't win another World Series game until 1990. Mm. So, 14 years. That's tough. So, that might have been uh, the end of the Big Red Machine, kind of, in a way. Anyway, that was cool. Fred could have stopped it earlier. I mean, he was the only Yankee name I don't know. That's tough. I want to text For my dad. Reason. Should I text my dad and, and say, and maybe I'll update them later yeah. and just say, what are your thoughts on Fred Stanley? Should I call him or should what, I just text what him? What happened on that throw? You can give him a quick call. I'll quick. allow it. You allow it? Okay. I'll allow it. All right, we're doing a quick call to my father um, and let him know mobile. I think he's going to say stunk. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, oh. Oh. I forgot. I have to use my other cell phone. Oh, God. Isn't that wild? Now I have to turn it on. So it's over. It's over. Let's see what my dad says. I hate Lynn. Oh, thanks for watching. That, that was watching baseball. We'll uh, today's Thursday's episode. We'll do one for Friday, and then we'll see how the weekend goes and how busy we are with everything else we're doing. If you're interested in anything else, name's Fred Stanley. Why did I say hate Lynn? I don't know. Very got weird. I think I was yeah. thinking Freddie Lynn. Well, go check out all our other channels. We've been posting episodes on Talking Yanks every single day. We've been posting episodes on Talking Baseball every single day. Every day. We've been posting multiple episodes on John Boy and Jake Radio YouTube account every yep. single day. Uh, we've been keeping busy and keeping the content flooded. Check out the shop. Reverse ads. Reverse ads. Thanks, guys. See ya. That was watching baseball.